ओम साई राम हेलो एवरी वन हाउ इज़ एवरी वन डूइंग होप यूल आर डूइंग गुड होप यूल आर एन्जॉइंग द रीडिंग्स सो वट वट शल आई टॉक अबाउट बाबा और वॉट शल आई से अबाउट बाबा टूडे आई वॉज जस्ट यू नो सिटिंग एंड ब्रेकिंग माई हेड विद इट की वॉट शल आई स्टार्ट इनफैक्ट आई वॉज वंडरिंग शुड आई शेयर शुड आई नॉट शेयर बिकॉज एज आई सेट नो मेनी ऑफ यू डोंट शेयर योर जॉय डोंट शेयर योर ब्लेसिंग्स एंड देन इट अपसेट्स मी दैट यू नो वाई इज इट दैट यू आर नॉट शेयरिंग योर ब्लेसिंग्स एंड हैप्पीनेस एंड वाई इज इट दैट यू नो यू आर नॉट टेलिंग वॉट ऑल बाबा टेक्स यू थ्रू एंड हाउ बाबा ब्लेसिज यू ऑल्सो सो आई दैट दैट टर्म ऑयल वॉज गोइंग ऑन इन माई हेड सिंस दिस टाइम आई स्टार्ट द रीडिंग so i was thinking why not talk about something which baba used to do baba used to ask for dakshina if you all know baba used to has had even in his stories made a person run around just for 1 rupee just to test if someone else is also equally kind hearted to give money at the same time baba used to take money from rich and from poor it was not that baba needed money because baba till he lived used to always take arms from people for his food in fact he used to cook food also for the dogs and everyone and feed them but why would he ask for dakshina because what used to happen was that you know some people tend to take services and then they don't give the money and what happens is that you know they start acquiring or they start adding on a karmic debt to them sometimes you know we we become fine or you know it's more like a karmic cycle so this karmic cycle gets cleared i will give you a small instance of my personal life story when i started my journey as a reiki healer i also used to do a lot of reiki healings for free i used to you know do lot of services for you know no energy exchange like free one card reading free three cards reading then one day one of my my close friend and uh, a mentor of mine what he did was he asked me uh, pinky uh, how much do you charge for a reading so i said you are my friend we used to even talk for a long time so i said you are my friend why would i even take a single rupee from you i would not charge for you so he was also a healer so he said do you know what happened in my life i said tell me what happened in your life he said pinky even i used to do a lot of energy work a lot of uh, healing work for no energy exchange for free of cost without you know any any expectations from anyone what happened one fine day was i had a major heart attack and uh, people thought i would not survive doctors also thought i would not survive then i myself felt i was you know driven towards a white light so when i was driven towards this white light i was seeing someone from there telling me that you know what are you doing you have never taken any money from anyone for all the services that you have done till date and because of which this karma is actually being added on and you have taken up the diseases of other people also in your life and then he said i promise the white light that hereafter i will not do any free healing i will not do any free services and then the white light said that if you still keep doing your karmic debts get increased you will attract their energies you will attract their diseases and you will one fine day again fall sick and never survive so he comes out of coma and this poor man he is so used to helping or with his helping tendency he could never charge anyone so what did he do he completely stopped this profession of healing and he he was an engineer so he got back to a 9 to 7 job and he started working there so i asked him then what is the point you learned so much he said i learned but i can never ask anyone for money for me it was always that you know i need to do it for a cause but because i was said that if i still keep charging then it will not happen so i told him even in reiki master has himself said you should take money or you should not do any services for free then somewhere you're not listening to your guru also over there he said yes i agree i'm not saying no but somewhere my heart couldn't take it so from then on i stopped doing free healings i stopped doing free energy exchanges yes even today there are times if it is my family or friends i don't take money from them i might take something else and run like a chocolate or a mithai or something but i see to it that i am not taking or i am not offering anything that is for free so now let's see what is in store for the cards okay two cards came out do not doubt three cards have come out so the first one is crush negativity believe in baba and be positive so don't allow any unwanted energies to overpower you don't allow any unwanted 
things to come in your life which will you know stop you from prospering there are people who would not like it who will not want to see you happy in life who not want to see you successful in life just stop thinking about them and just do what you love doing now the next card is look within sometimes yes we should look within us where we are going wrong and what is happening and then our heart and our mind gives the best answers now once you get the best answer don't doubt that answer because it is baba who has given you that answer so today overall what baba is saying is remove all the unwanted energies from your body remove the negative thoughts remove the negative patterns just keep one thing in mind that baba is there baba is going to guide you and baba is going to take care of your needs and he will give you the right path just follow that path with faith and you will be able to be successful in life and come out of all your issues that you have been facing of late om sai ram